Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good day. Oh my goodness. Hello, Turkey. Hi, guys. <coughs> Hi, guys. Hi, Sarge. <laughs> So, out here today, it's uh, been about two weeks since the Hurricane Ian. Um, we've done some cleanup. And, uh, hi guys. They're all walking in front of me. <laughs> so, we checked the weather last night because it's been a few days since we uh, bothered. And um, it's supposed to get down to 47 tonight. <laughs> I am scrambling to harvest. Um, I was able to get our um, sour sap leaves because uh, the sour sap starts to die off if it goes below 50. I've also harvested some mango leaves. Um, I'm dehydrating them, grinding them up t into powder to use in teas and stuff. Right now, I am going to try to harvest as much red sorrel as I can, lemongrass, and basil, oregano, uh, some more bay leaves. But let me show you how beautiful. This is just one of the red sorrels. But, yep, there's the red sorrel blooming. There's one with a seed pot in it. So I'm going to go through and harvest pretty much anything that's medium to large pods. And I'm going to cut them off. The, the outer shell gets cut off from the seed pod. And then I dehydrate the outer shell. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll probably take a look at Donald's peppers too, but I may wait until tonight when he gets home because he's the pepper expert, not me. This particular red sorrel kind of fell over because of the storm and then started growing a little funny. Um, and I'm gonna show you other things that have happened since the hurricane that we noticed. And it's not, really good for our homestead. Look what I found. Ladybugs are beneficial. They eat aphids. So I'm going to go ahead and move this one off the red sorrel I'm trying to harvest. <laughs> now one thing with red sorrel is um, the weight normally tends to be in the pods as they get bigger they get heavier so the plant will look like it's bending down but then when you get done picking up the pods it perks right back up so that's a cool thing for the other stuff that we've uh, noticed since hurricane ian um this baby seedlings that we had growing a lot of them have disappeared it's very very disheartening um i'm not sure if it's cauliflower or broccoli i got two of those out of this whole bed that i seeded um the thing that we can figure out the most is they either got blown away and i can't get rid of these ants they keep moving to different tires every time i sprinkle i mean this is a massive pile i'm not going to worry about it because if i plant anywhere else and I sprinkle the stuff to kill these guys they're going to move to another thing and then eat up the plant or the seeds oh I cannot think of a name the name of this plant it was the um it starts with an r it's like a ramp 
Rampapian, Rampapian. It's a gourd. Um, that's doing okay. This one's kind of struggling, and then the one in the end is doing great. So I'm hoping because it's a gourd, um, it's not going to be too affected by the winter. Um, I didn't plant anything there because I had the ant pile was originally there. There's my radish. <laughs> I got two radishes. Um, this got overtaken with weeds. There were supposed to be radishes in this one. Now my sunflower bed is doing great. Um, and the potatoes are running crazy again. And as you can tell, I have beautiful flowers. But the sunflowers are all got heads on them. So I'll have another late harvest. I was supposed to have eggplant in here. We gotta get back in here and weed whack. And I keep moving. Oh, this vine keeps wanting. Ugh. But that is, I know it's some type of spinach. I cannot remember the name of it. I, it was given to me by my friend. And then here is the lettuce bed. I have one, two, three lettuces. I, 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 I'm just kind of disappointed. Uh, this is the dwarf basil that's going to seed. So I'm gonna be trimming most of that back. I do have still, that's dill. I have baby dills in here. That's a lemon balm. So I just need to come in here and weed. Um, I'll probably do that another time. Right now I'm just trying to get harvesting. And then you could tell Donald's peppers are starting to go, you know, uh, start the plants are starting to die back, but we're going to be, uh, I'm gonna have him harvest. He wants to make his um, some type of sauce. I'm gonna harvest what I can for the butterfly pea. Mainly I've been letting the butterfly pea flower because I am going after the seed pods, which you can see there. And then um, when it starts to get cold, this will also die back. None of the beets or radishes in here came up my herb garden is actually doing a little bit better i actually for some reason rosemary came up finally after me trying all summer long that's oregano sage um that's supposed to be tall noble basil but this year we had temperatures over 100 degrees for at least three months out of this out of the summer so you all saw my tomatoes I, I i got no tomatoes at all here these are all peanuts the tomatillos that were in here are just buried under the peanuts yeah there was some in here the celery never came up that utah celery i planted uh pineapple patch is doing great i gotta weed that again that's my lettuce None of my eggplants. Oh, a hawk just landed. It's right there. And I got most of my birds are right there because they were watching me. I'm still got to go to the front. I got more red sorrel and I'll show you that. That's doing great. We have banana racks. Um, one went bad on us. We thought it would survive, um, but it just, uh, I guess the shock from the uh, hurricane really did it in. We really had a bad year this year with our crops. It's disheartening because I feel like we failed. We know tomatoes grow here, but you know, the last, this is our third year trying to grow tomatoes. The first year was okay. Um, the weather cooperated. We didn't have any storms and it wasn't too hot. 
the season before that, we had the tropical storms. We had two, yeah, I think it was two tropical storms, if I'm remembering right. And it totally wiped out the tomatoes. There, there was just nothing I could do. And then this year, got some tomatoes, but then when the temperatures got above 90, even the Florida Dade ones, which are cultivated for our area, they even had problems. And I like tomatoes. I like making tomato sauce. I like making spaghetti sauce, tomato paste. And the what little tomatoes we got this year. Bug. Um, I'm just going to let Donald use to make his hot sauce. It's not worth doing anything other than that. It's only a, uh, a gallon and a half of tomatoes. So besides the jumbo peanuts the and the red sorrel and some of the herbs that are doing great all the seeds i planted for the fall they either got blown away um because you know a lot of them you just sprinkle on top and you and you just kind of like lightly dust it cover those seedlings you know we had a cat one which was above 75 mile an hour winds didn't make it we didn't get a lot of rain we did get some torrential rains but it was actually more wind than rain this particular storm at least in our area this year just did not happen we had a lot more downs than we had ups i'm hoping that what is left that is still growing will still produce um we've uh gotten four banana racks there's a bonus there we're just hoping that things will be okay and this winter we're going to try to do something else with our irrigation on the mound here the sprinklers were a cheap easy idea and they did well for the most part but Donald thinks that we'll have better luck using a soaking system. He's got plans to start working on that and see what we can do to um, maybe put um, run some conduit or PVC piping uh, on the mound with little spigots so we can hook up soaker hoses and try and do things that way. What? Hi, baby boy. <laughs> Sarge. It's never quiet when I'm out here. Oh, and Sarge, if I get it on video, Sarge has figured out where the front door is. So he literally stands on the top step honking at me through the door because he wants to see me and get pets. Well, now he figures he can actually use his beak and he'll nip at the screen door and it'll bounce. So it sounds like somebody's knocking and it's Sarge. He's honking at me because he wants me to come out. Uh, that goose. That goose is going to be something else. I'll tell you what. But I'm glad I got him. He's actually, for being a very nasty, mean goose, when I first got him, he now follows me around like a dog. He always wants to know where I'm at. Like, he's staring at me right now. I can see him. And he's bonded well with the five geese that our neighbor gave us um, up the road. Uh, she gave us her geese flock. They are doing great. All five, they mow the lawn like you wouldn't believe. Their poop is nice and green. We haven't had to mow anything. And I'm like, well, if we can get some of the um, tires up a little bit higher, I'm like, I wouldn't mind having the ducks or even a goose in here on the mound to help us mow, you know, keep the weeds down. But, you know, if we want to grow food, I got to be careful of that. So... We'll figure it out. But, you know, you know us, me and Donald, we're always experimenting. With us living in sun, Central Florida, 
gardening normal foods is a little bit trickier and we have to figure out what is best. We really do want to grow food for our family and not have to rely on stores as much. Until I can either get a nice big sunshade for this entire mound, <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do. So I'm harvesting my butterfly peas. And I find a little baby tree frog in this one. Hello, little one. <laughs> So why don't we put you in a better spot? Obviously, I'm gonna be giving you the flower. So I got this in here. And oh, you'll be safe for predators. Yeah, we like our frogs, don't we? Hi guys, you still watching me, aren't you? And the hawk just left, so. All right, let me finish uh, getting the seeds and flowers off of this one. Ooh, and that sun came out with a vengeance. Holy cow, it got hot real quick. I'm in the front. Um, you could tell our peanuts, the tops are starting to turn yellow, so that means they're going to be ready to be pulled out here soon. I'm going to harvest. I got to empty out my baskets. They're full, but I'm going to get me some lemongrass. I'm gonna get me some moringa. Um, and then all of this was kind of damaged during the storm. I was in it one time to harvest what I could because I was worried, but it looks like all of it's surviving. It's just growing on the ground basically. So I'm gonna come into here once I get everything in my baskets rinsed off and separated, harvest all of this later. So I'm gonna have a lot of red soil to go through. That's pretty much my, my day. And our loquat is still producing everywhere where you see the flowers, that's next year's crop. So when this comes back after uh, winter here, we're gonna have this thing's just going to be loaded with low quads and I'm excited. So, and then here's the sour sap and the mango trees. That's what I harvested yesterday. So I've just been busy, 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 busy. And that's why we haven't been putting out the uh, videos as much as we like. Um, we're, Cause we're just getting ourselves ready. It, it's the busy time of season for pretty much anybody who's homesteading.